So we send off our sample and we have asked for dry matter, crude protein, digestible energy, fiber levels, non-structural carbohydrate and, carbo and minerals. So those are good things to, to know and it really does help to make us come up with good feeding suggestions for that hay. And depending on the class of horse, we may have to add some supplemental nutrients because the hay does not meet total requirements for the horse, or in some cases there's a small amount of supplementation that's required in order to effectively use that hay. So there's a number of companies that will analyze hay. Um, this one happens to be from Equa Analytical, uh, a part of Dairy One. And so this analysis has come back and what we see is that we have two columns. Actually, there's four columns, but two that are most important. So it's going to come back and it's going to tell us the nutrient profile and the values on an as-fed basis or as an as-sampled basis. So that's exactly the way the hay is. And really, it is exactly the way you as a horse owner are probably going to feed it. So this one has uh, the digestible energy. It's also got the moisture and the dry matter. Um, it's got <clears throat> some things related to uh, amino acids. Uh, we've got our percentages of fiber. We've got our percentages of non-structural carbohydrate and it's got calcium and phosphorus. It'll also give you a relative feed value, which is basically a relationship of the fiber contents to uh, quality. And so it's related or compared to alfalfa hay. It is actually a ruminant number. Um, so horse owners might look at it and say, does it really mean much? Um, it gives you a little bit of an indication of this is a pretty good quality hay from a nutrient profile. So an average alfalfa hay is going to be 100. Um, you can see in this one it's 102, so we know that we have a pretty nice hay here. Uh, I'm going to expect that the horses are going to eat it well, and it'll do a nice job of providing <clears throat> the nutrients that they require. So there's the as sampled or as fed, and then there's a dry matter column, and what that tells us is how the nutrient profile looks relative to all the water being extracted. So this is on a 100% dry basis. I would use that if I'm going to compare two different hays. One might have a slightly higher moisture content than the other one. But if I look at them as both 100% dry matter, then I can actually make my comparisons. I'm truly comparing apples to apples. And so those are the numbers that we would use. When I'm looking at developing a feeding program, I'm going to focus more on the as-fed or the as-sampled numbers because that's what you as a horse owner are using to feed your horses. You're not going to do the calculations as to how many pounds of dry matter you're feeding. You're going to feed X number of pounds of hay. And so that would be what I would use to help you develop your feeding program, meet your horse's requirements, and balance it appropriately.